वेलकम टू अभिव्यक्ति इंडिया फ्यूचर क्लासरूम इन टूडेज एपिसोड ऑफ मिक्सड बैग वी आर गोइंग टू सी सम प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रॉम प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस एंड मैंसुरेशन हियर इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन द स्क्रीन दैट अ शॉपकीपर परचेसेस ट्वेल्व बलून्स फॉर रुपीज टेन एंड सेल देम एट द रेट ऑफ टेन बलून्स फॉर रुपीज ट्वेल्व Does he earns the profit of how much? He purchases twelve balloons for rupees ten, and therefore the cost price of one balloon that will be equal to ten by twelve. And he sells ten balloons at the rate of Twelve rupees, ten balloons for twelve rupees, and therefore the selling price of one balloon that will be equal to twelve by ten. And therefore the profit is equal to selling price minus cost price, so profit. That is equal to twelve by ten minus ten by twelve, and that will be equal to forty-four by one hundred and twenty. And the profit in this transaction is forty-four by one twenty rupees, and therefore the profit percent will be for. Ten by twelve rupees. The profit is twelve by ten rupees, sorry, it will be like that. For the cost price ten by twelve rupees, the profit is rupees forty four by one twenty. then if the cost price is 100 what will be the profit so we multiply this two and divide by the first one and so we get profit percent as 100 into 44 by 120 Divided by ten by twelve. So, which is equal to, if you solve this, you will get it as forty-four percent. So, the profit percent will be forty-four percent. The next question is: A man sells two articles. At rupees ninety nine each, on one he gains ten percent, and on the other hand he loses ten percent. What is his gain or loss percent on this whole transaction? A man sells two articles each for rupees ninety nine. On one transaction he gains ten percent, on the other transaction he loses ten percent, and we have to find the gain or loss percent in this transaction. friends if the selling price of each article is same and the gain and lose percent is also same then remember there is always a loss and then that loss will be 10 multiplied by 10 because 10% is gain and 10% is loss divided by 100 and so it will be 1% and therefore in this transaction the loss will be just 1% the next question is the length of the rectangle is 3 times of its width if the length of the diagonal is 8 root 10 it is 8 root 10 cm then the perimeter of the rectangle is the relation between the length and the breadth is given that uh, the length is 3 times that of its width 
and the diagonal of that rectangle is given as root ten, sorry 8 root 10 centimeter and we have to find the perimeter of the rectangle. So let width of the rectangle be x and as per the condition length that is 3 times that of the width so it will be 3x. So if the length is 3x and width is x and it is given that the diagonal is 8 root 10. Here you know that this is a rectangle therefore this angle will 90 degrees and this triangle will be right angle triangle and therefore by Pythagoras theorem the square of base and square plus square of height that will be equal to square of the hypotenuse. So you get by Pythagoras theorem that x square plus 3x bracket square that will be the square of the hypotenuse and in this case hypotenuse is 8 root 10 bracket square. So solve this you will get x square plus 3x bracket square that is 9x square is equal to square of 8 will be 64, 8 is the 64 and square root of 10 its square will be 10 so it will be 64 multiplied by 10. So x square plus 9x square that will be 10x square is equal to 64 into 10. Friends here you can do some steps orally. I am solving each step just with the intention of the explanation. So 10, 10 will get cancelled and you will get x square is equal to 64 taking square root of both the sides it will be x is equal to 8. And what is 8? 8 x is a width and therefore width is equal to 8 centimeter and length that is equal to 3 times that is 24 centimeter and therefore the perimeter of rectangle that is equal to 2 into length plus breadth so that is equal to 2 into length plus breadth that is 24 plus 8 that is 32 and therefore 32 2 ja, it will be 64 centimeter and therefore the perimeter of the given the rectangle is 64 centimeter. The next question is the length of the rectangle is decreased by 10 percent and its breadth is increased by 10 percent. What percent is its area change? You have to find the percent change in the area. Friends, as we know that the area of the rectangle is equal to length into breadth it means if B is constant, area is directly proportional to length and if length is constant, area is directly proportional to breadth. It means if length is increased in the same proportional, area will increase and if breadth is increased, the area will increase in the same proportion and vice versa. Now here the length of the rectangle is decreased by 10% so the area in the first case will also decrease by 10% and let area b is equal to 100 square units. So the length is decreased by 10% so 10% decrease in the area and 10 percent of 100 will be minus 10 so it will be 90 so area will be 90 square units 
now what happened the breadth is increased by 10% so it will affect in the same proportion on the area so now the area is 90 now it is increased by 10% so the 10% of 90 will be 9 and so 90 plus 9 that will be equal to 99 so new area will be 99 square unit initially it was 100 square units and now it is 99 square unit it means there is a decrease of 1% and therefore the percent change in area is 1% the next question is if the ratio of the areas of 2 squares is 225 is to 256 then the ratio of their perimeter is <coughs> Friends, let us consider that S1 is the side of one square and S2 is the side of the another square and therefore the area of the first square will be side square S1 square and the area of the another square will be S2 square. Now it is given that S1 square by S2 square that is the ratio of the areas of two squares that will be equal to what 225 by 256 this s1 square upon s2 square we can write as s1 upon s2 bracket square that is equal to 15 by 16 bracket square 15 is the square root of 225 and 256 is the square root of 16 and therefore s1 upon s2 that is equal to 15 by 16 now we have to find the ratio of the perimeter so perimeter of the square whose side is s1 will be 4 s1 and the perimeter of the side of a square whose side is S2 will be 4S2 and that will be equal to 4 into 15 upon 4 into 16 so again this 4, 4 will get cancelled and you will get the ratio of the perimeter that will be equal to 15 by 16 here you can say that the if the areas if the ratio of the areas of the squares are given and you have to find the ratio of their perimeter then you need not to solve this much of work you will have to simply take the square root of the given ratios and that will be the ratio of their perimeter friends thank you very much for watching this video I hope you must have enjoyed. If yes, please like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. If you did not like this video for any other reason, please write us through comments so that we will try to improve because there is always a room for improvement. Thank you very much. Friends, you might have enjoyed this video, then go to thumbs up button and click. Then go to share tab and share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and many more. And to get the updates right in your mailbox, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.